Hello guys, I wanted to do a random uh, video today. Um, so it's going to be called the, the Spooky Halloween Tag Questions. Um, since I don't have friends <laughs> to like do a Q&A or anything like that, I'm going to be doing a tag. Um, so it's just the Spooky Halloween Tag. Is this questions that you would like answer and just learn a little bit more about me um, since it's not it's not really close to Halloween it's just close to October which is my favorite time of year my favorite month actually um, so I'm just gonna get started they spelt favorite wrong but that's okay I don't know why that that's like a pet peeve of mine when someone spells like a certain word wrong um, okay so number one favorite horror or Halloween theme song themed song um, spooky scary sorry spooky scary skeletons but like the techno version, I fucking love that so much. It's like, it's my jam. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's freaking awesome. I, I used to listen to it a lot. Like I would like blast it in my earphones, but I don't anymore. I think I need to watch it again uh, or listen to it. Listen to it again. Do I know how music works? Do I know that you have to listen to music, not watch music? I don't know. Um, two, name something you wouldn't want to run into in the dark. In a dark forest or in an abandoned building. Fuck. Oh my god. Um a demon. Something really scary looking. Uh just like a demon, scary, fucking zombie type of thing. Like I would not want to run into that type of thing because I don't know what the fuck I would do. Um I don't know what I would do. Like I can't fight. Well, I can fight, it's just whatever. Um, but like, if I saw that, I think I would lose my shit. I think I would pass out. I don't know. I don't want um, to run into a demon-ass-looking fucker who has black eyes, pointy teeth, and blood on their fucking face. Uh-uh. No. I'm not, I don't want that. And also, faces scare the fuck out of me. Like, if I see a random face on my goddamn window or anywhere, that would scare the hell out of me. Um, so, yeah. Number three. Have you ever played with a Ouija board? Yes, I played twice. Um, once when I was 10 years old with a couple teenagers. They were fucking with me. Like, I don't think it was real or anything. Nothing scary happened. Um, I don't know. Nothing really scary happened. And the second time, we, me and my brother made one. But I cast a circle around us, like a protection circle. Um, things did happen. Like, we got an old lady and said that our building was built on an Indian burial ground or a graveyard, um, which we kind of already knew because someone told us about it. Um, and the scary thing that happened was my dog died, and then two weeks later, my mom died. So that was kind of two unexpected events. Even though my mom was sick and in the hospital during that time, um, it was just really weird coincidence that we played with a Ouija board and both of those things happened. Um, so I haven't played with an actual Ouija board, sorry, since I haven't actually played with an actual Ouija board in a while. I want to get one just as decoration. I don't want to fuck with it, but, um, if I fucked with it in my house, my dad and brother would lose their shit. They're like, they're totally against Ouija boards. Um, number four. Favorite horror, monster, or villain? Um, I don't think I have a favorite because I watch so many scary movies that um, I can't pick one. Let's see. Um, I think my favorite one or like the one that kind of scared me as a kid was Michael Myers. Um, that motherfucker. He never ran, but he always caught the people. How the fuck? How stupid can you be to get, to get caught by a slow ass motherfucker? He doesn't run. All he does is walk. Like he is the laziest serial killer. And those fuckers still get caught. I don't get it. Um, but yeah, Michael Myers. He's he's my favorite. He's the legend. Um, scared the hell out of me as a child. It does not scare me now. I don't know why I was scared. But yeah, I guess the creepy thing was that he was slow and all the other scary villains and monsters are quick in every other scary movie. So that was probably why he was scary because he was slow and he didn't give a fuck, but he still caught people. I don't understand. Um, 
So yeah, number five, the creepiest thing that has ever happened while you were alone. I, nothing has ever really happened um, that was scary when I was alone. Um, yeah, nothing. I, I could say that here, when I was taking a shower, it looked like a really tall, dark shadow was standing outside of the, the, my shower. I have a shower curtain that's just like plastic and you can see through it, kind of. And it, I saw that. That was pretty scary. But nothing really scary has actually happened to me when I was alone. Let's hope nothing ever does because I don't know what the fuck I would do. I'm not good under pressure. Um, so yeah, number six. This is going to be a long video. I apologize. Um, number six, if you were, if you were dared to spend a night in a haunted house, would you do it? Uh, it depends if I'm alone or with people. If I'm with people, I'd do it. If I was alone, hell no. Um, I would lose my shit. No. So if I was with people, yes, but if I was alone, I would not stay the night in a haunted house. Uh, number seven, are you superstitious? I am to an extent, like to a point. I don't I'm not like superstitious, like, I don't know. I am very superstitious, but I try not to be. Um, so yeah, there aren't really ways I can explain how I'm superstitious, but I know I am. I do certain things, uh, or like if I don't do something, something bad will happen, um, that kind of thing. But I, I am kind of superstitious and I'm trying to break that, but sometimes it's good to be superstitious. Um, Number eight, do you ever see figures out of your peripheral vision? Yes, I do all the fucking time and also in the dark. Um, they're mainly just shadows and I see things moving and stuff like that. But I have schizophrenia, so that's normal for me. Maybe that's just not spirits and just me fucking hallucinating and shit. But yeah, um, I do see things out of the corner of my eye. Um, number nine. Which urban legend scares you the most? I I don't know. I don't really know very many many urban legends. I guess um, Black Eyed Children. If one of those little motherfuckers come to my door, I'm going to punch one in the throat. Um, you never hear anybody punching a child like a black eyed kid in the fucking throat. Do it. See what happens. Um, don't don't do that. You don't know what'll happen. Could be just a kid playing a prank and you just punched a child in the throat. That's illegal. Don't do it. Um, pop my neck when I did that. I'm only going to answer 20 of these, and I might do the rest uh, in another video. So, yes. Number 10. Do you prefer gore or thrills? Thrillers. Um, thrillers. I can't do gore. I don't like movies that have lots of torture, lots of blood, lots of stabbing. I can't watch that. It makes me feel really bad for the people who are dying and getting stabbed and stuff. So I like, I like thrillers, things that make me, uh, on, get me on the edge of my chair. Number 11. Do you believe in multiply, multiply, bitch? That's not a word. Um, do you believe in multiple dimensions or other worlds? That's a thing. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Um, there could be multiple dimensions and other worlds or different worlds or some shit. I don't know. There could be, this is a huge fucking planet. There could be, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, there's so many freaking things out there. Um, so I don't know. Uh, number 12. Ever made a potion of any sort? Um, no, I don't think so. Uh, I've done spells, I'm Wiccan, so I do rituals, not spells, or I do certain t things, um, but I've never made a potion or anything. I did when I was little, sort of like a, a I would call it a potion, but it'd just be dirt, water, and grass. I, I don't know why I did shit like that, but I did. Um, number 13, do you ever get scared easily, or do you get scared easily? Sometimes I do, but not really. Um, I've gotten a lot better. I used to get scared easily, but that's my brother. My brother gets scared easily. Like, I could literally walk up behind him and scare the fuck out of him. He gets really pissed when I do that. But that's the funny part, uh, or the fun part. Um, number 14, have you ever played Bloody Mary? Yes, I have. Once when we were at the homeless shelter, these kids dared me and I did it in the bathroom and nothing happened. That bitch isn't real. Um, so if you do Bloody Mary, 
the thing is, your eyes get used to the dark, and by the time you're done saying Bloody Mary, you're going to see your face in the mirror, and that's what's going to scare you. So, Bloody Mary isn't real. People keep on thinking, like, that's playing with the devil or playing with anything like that. It's not. Bloody Mary is just a fake bitch. Oh, my God. Just watch. She's going to come for me now. Girl, don't come for me. I, I'm, I don't know you. Uh, anyways, do you believe in demons or the devil? Well, I'm Wiccan, and there's no devil, like, in the craft. We don't believe in the devil. But I do believe in demons. There are demons. Um, there are scary creatures out there uh, that will fuck you up. So don't fuck with demons, you guys. Um, the devil, I, don't, I feel like he's not real. It's just a person that people have made up to put all of their shit on, like, to blame all the bad things that they've done. Or that they do, they blame it on the devil, um, because they can't live with themselves. Ah, number sixteen. You're home alone, but you hear footsteps in your house. What do you do? I go check. I'm that stupid white bitch. She says hello, and then gets stabbed in the titty. Um, I will check it out, and um, I'm not scared of of that shit. Like if I hear somebody in my house, actually come to think of it, I probably would take my cell phone, hide in my closet, and dial 911, even if it's my dad, um, and I'm alone, and he wouldn't be here, or he's not supposed to be here, um, I might hide in my closet and just, like, you know, <laughs> call 911 because I'm a scaredy pussy ass. Um, number 17, if you were trapped in one scary movie, which one would you choose? Oh, my damn. Um... I don't know. In a scary movie, which one would I choose? There's so many. Um, the Grudge. Because I've always wanted to punch that bitch. No, The Ring. Sorry. They fucking almost the same. Um, the, the Ring. I wanted to punch Samara so fucking hard in the face. Like, bitch, stay in the TV. No one wants you to come out of the TV. Like, fucking stay in there. Do something else with your goddamn life. Like, fuck. So the ring. I, I've always wanted to punch that bitch in the face. Um, just like Brenda did in Scary Movie 3, I think it was. Um, so, number 18. If you could only wear one Halloween costume for the rest of your life, what would it? What would I be? A witch. I would be a witch. Because I was a witch a couple times for Halloween as a little kid. And it was fun. Um, so yeah, I, I would dress up as a witch. 19. Would you ever go to a graveyard at night? Yes, I would. I've been wanting to do that. I like graveyards. They're not scary to me, um, even though they do give off a creepy vibe because, you know, there's dead people buried there. Um, but, yes, I would. I would go into a graveyard at nighttime. Um, that sounds... I'm going to do 25 questions. Sorry. Yes, I would go at nighttime because that'd be fun. Uh, 20. In a zombie apocalypse, what is your weapon of choice? I would choose a machete or a bat or a hammer, something that will not get me close to a zombie. I do not want to get bit. Um, so, yeah, those are the weapons I would choose, or a weapon. I would choose most likely a bat or a machete. Uh, would you, so 21, would you rather go to a Halloween party or go trick or treating? Fuck, that's a thing. Um, I'm 23, so I don't think it's really socially accepting or socially okay for me to go trick-or-treating but motherfucker I would love to go trick-or-treating I love trick-or-treating it's the it's like the thing to do on Halloween I don't want to go partying drink alcohol and fucking do things with, with people my age no no thank you since I'm already almost at 30 I'm gonna do 30 I don't know how long this video is already but I'm gonna do 30 this is pretty fun but uh, I'd rather go trick-or-treating I don't like parties parties bother me or I'd rather stay home and watch a movie a scary movie and just like eat candy or something which is what I've been doing every year since like maybe a couple of years ago 22 you're in a horror movie are you the final girl or the first one to die the comic the comic relief the skeptic or the smart one or the killer um I'd probably be the fucking I don't know I think it'd be the one the first one to die Actually, no, I might be the final girl because I'm not the, I, I, even though I said I am the stupid bitch to go check to see who's there in the house when I hear someone, um, but no, I, I tend to think that I might be 
smart enough or I've seen enough scary movies to know like how to survive I think um, I think it'd be the final girl um, yeah I'm not gonna be that stupid bitch and be like hello and then like the fucker comes out and stabs me um, even though I might be I don't know it's never happened to me so I, I don't know what would happen 23 do you have do you have to watch something happy after watching a horror movie so you can go to sleep? Sometimes, yeah, because uh, sometimes I do watch scary movies at nighttime um, on Netflix. And I do have to, like, watch fail videos on YouTube or funny something to make me laugh, to keep my mind off of the ghosts or the demons that I was watching. Um, so, yeah, sometimes, but not all the time. While watching scary movies, this is 24, sorry. While watching scary movies, are you the person who yells? at the characters or the person or the person with their eyes covered um, the whole time or the person who falls asleep. I'm the person who covers their eyes and the person who yells at the characters. Um, I never fall asleep during a scary movie because who can? Like I could never. Uh, I'm, I'm both of the person. I'm like the person who yells at the characters and I'm the person who covers their eyes. Um, so yeah, 25. Are you the one who gets scared or the one who does the scaring? I'm both. I scare, I get scared and I do the scaring. Um, 26. What's your favorite scary book? I don't have one. I don't really read that much. Um, I used to read Goosebumps all the time, but I don't read anymore, so I don't really have a scary book that I like. Actually, The Zombie Survival Guide, that's not scary, but it's it's one of my favorite books. Um, how old were you when you saw your first horror movie? Oh my gosh, I was really young. My mom would watch scary movies with us all the time. I was probably around like six years old when I first saw my scary, first scary movie. Um, it was it was Michael Myers, so I just spit everywhere when I said that. Um, it was Michael Myers. Uh, I was like six. Don't know why mom, my mom would do that, but it got me obsessed with scary movies, so thanks. Um, 28. What was your favorite Halloween costume? I don't know. Uh, fuck, there's so many. I think it was... Did you guys hear that? I just think I heard something. I'm <laughs> scaring myself. Um, my favorite one would be possibly... I don't know. A zombie. I was a zombie. I did like a weird mask that I made my own mask. It was made out of toilet paper glue and some petroleum jelly paints. Um, yeah, that one was my favorite. It fucking hurt taking off because I glued it to my face. And it was like a, it was kind of like a peel, a facial peel, um, which was good. It kind of, it like got stuff off my face. So that was kind of a two in one thing. 29. What are you going as Halloween this year? Oh, God, that's a thing. I don't know if I'm going to dress up because I don't go anywhere. I don't have, like, that many friends. So um, I'm thinking when I'm either going to be a troll if I do go somewhere or a dead, like a, not a dead, like a zombie hooker or just a normal hooker. I'm probably going to be a zombie hooker or a hooker clown. Um, whichever. I don't know what I'm going to be, but it's going to be either a troll, a zombie hooker, or a hooker clown. So, yeah. The last one, 30. If you could have a scary Halloween pet, black cat, owl, bat, rat, or wolf, um, what would you pick? Black, uh, I already have a black cat, so I'd rather have a wolf. Wolves are fucking awesome. Um... They're cool, and I'd like a black wolf. Oh my gosh, that those are so awesome and so, like, fucking fierce. Um, I'd rather have a black wolf, and I'd name it Fang or some shit. I don't know. I'm not really good at naming pets. I'd probably just call a dog because I call my cat Kitty <laughs> because I'm an idiot. Actually, that was not my fault. My dad and brother, I left my cat here for a couple weeks, and, and he was a kitten, and they fucking named him Kitty. His name was his name was Popeye when I left, but when I came back, his name was Kitty. So I probably would just call the wolf dog because I don't name animals correctly. Damn, this is 19 minutes long. I did not know that. Um, so yeah, that is the Halloween tag. And I think that's what it's called. Yeah, the spooky Halloween tag. And I tag every single one of my subscribers. Um, 
you guys can do it. You can like, I will link the questions down below. I'll link the website actually, not the questions. Um, so yeah, also, uh, just a random update. I am taking less of the hormones that I was taking before. Um, mainly because I was taking too much, I feel, and um, it's been kind of making me feel weird. And now that I'm uh, taking less, I'm extremely bitchy, and I'm, like, on the verge of if anybody comes for me, or if anybody starts something with me, I'm going to lose my fucking temper. Um, but hopefully that'll pass. So, yeah, I really hope you like this video. Like this video, thumbs us up, subscribe. You really don't have to, but I really appreciate it. And if you just saw green on my hand, I tried to draw a tattoo because I'm too fucking scared to get a real tattoo. Um, it kind of washed off or it, it probably got on my face. I was, I was sleeping last night. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later and yeah. Bye.